All right, folks, it's Mahindra Don here, but this is something new and exciting that I'm just now learning about I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is a 17-foot reach, 5-foot boom mower. It, uh, it's mounted. That's a 5-foot cutting head on there. Very well designed, made by Bushwhacker. And uh, it's got all kind of stuff here to make it easy to use. One of the things you see right away is that it's it's got pallet. Uh, it's set up to where you can pick it up with a forklift. If you're out on the farm, you know these things are hard to move around, and some of them come with stand and stands and stuff. Some manufacturers charge extra to have something to, to lay it on to keep it safe and out of the way and make it easier to move. The Bushwhacker does not charge any extra for this stand that it comes with that you can see easily here. Any pallet forks will go right up into. So if you got a tractor with pallet forks, or in this case we have a little sky track here for sale. But I uh, wanted to show that off. And then it has its own uh, hydraulic reservoir here. And you can see that it is quick hitch acceptable. You can use a quick hitch or a regular three-point hitch to pick it up. So it's going to mount on the back of the tractor. And there's your swing arm. It'll swing out. Now it's pretty cool design. Here you can see an electronic uh, connection. And what that does is it goes into your tractor and you have a joystick mounted in your tractor, a bushwhacker joystick that'll control it and move it all around however you need. Outside here they've got some controls to help you with loading and unloading it. Um, of course you're not going to stand out here and use your bushwhacker to trim. You're going to be in your nice comfortable cab of your tractor to trim. But I wanted to show you that and you can pick it up from either side with a set of pallet forks. And like I said, it remains on that stand there. It locks in on that stand to keep it safe and out of the way there. Uh, you can see on the design of the arms and stuff, it's very strong material, a lot of grease fittings. There's two on each one there to keep the bearings greased up. The hydraulic lines have an anti-abrasion cord on them. That works real good to keep them from rubbing against stuff and getting abraded. And there's your pin that it'll lock into place here on the stand that I was mentioning. Uh, great gearbox design. Uh, it's really, really strong. The boys at Gearbox, uh, the boys at uh, Bushwhacker, were telling me all about this and how the bolts come up through and everything, and how it holds up a lot better than any other designs. And even some of their designs they've had in the past, this is supposed to be the best way to do it. And the size of these cylinders, uh, you can't really tell, but that's bigger than any barrel of any baseball bat I've ever held. Um, they're very stout cylinders, so you can get a good reach out there. Like I said, just wanted to show it off as something I'm just now learning about, so I'm not going to try and baffle you with a bunch of technical specs and everything, because I don't know. And I will be the first to tell you, if I don't know something, I'm not going to pretend and tell you I do. But, um, again, this is just an awesome machine here. It'll hook up behind any tractor that has enough horsepower to run it. And it's not huge and heavy. It doesn't have a giant counter ballast sticking out to one side where your tractor's going to tip over. It should be just as easy to use with a two-wheel drive as a four-wheel drive if you're just going around your field. But uh, just wanted to show it off a little bit, folks. And if there's anything I can do to help, you know you can always call me. It's uh, Mahindra Don here at 910-233-4576. Thanks for watching.